What's up folks? Welcome to React Native School. Today we're going to be building a list, a scrolling list that allows us to scroll both vertically and horizontally. Uh, I saw this, or what made me think of this was the Spotify app, which I use all the time. You've got your different sections, your made for you, uh, certain genre, punk and hardcore, and then maybe based on your recent listening, these different sections or categories. And then inside of there, you've got different albums or different playlists that you can scroll through horizontally. Now, right now you can see each section, we've got the section title, but the data is being rendered in a vertical list and we can only scroll through it vertically. And the way I've got this implemented is I've got this list item component, which is just rendering the image and the text. And to make it scrolling, we've got a section list and we've got a section header rendered, which is the text, and then a render item, which is each one of our list items. Looking at the data, it's very basic. We've got a title, uh, for each section. So each section is an object. It's got a title and it's got a data array. That data array is required for a section list to work. So it just kind of knows what to render and we'll be leveraging all of this as we go. Uh, and then finally, only thing we have left is some basic styling to get this all to happen. So let's go ahead and get each section to go ahead and render uh, its data horizontally rather than vertically and still be able to scroll through this whole list. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and import a flat list from React Native. And then to render it, where do I want to put this in my section list? Well, we could say render item, but render item only applies to each individual item within that data array for each section. Whereas we want to render it for a section, we want access to that whole array to render a separate horizontal list. So we're going to go ahead and put it in our render section header. And to do this, we'll go ahead and rent, uh, wrap our section title in a React fragment so we can return two components in here. Then I'll go ahead and drop my flat list in here. Now our flat list takes a couple props. First off is going to be data. That's going to be an array of data we want to render. And given this is a render section header, we've got access to the section which has the title and the data array. So we can go ahead and pass in section.data. Next up, we want to tell it to render that data horizontally rather than vertically. So we can do that by passing the horizontal prop to a flat list. And then we need to render each item. And render item is going to look just like down below. It's just we don't have access to the item, or sorry, the section prop, we just have access to the item. So I'll go ahead and just copy this and paste it in here and we'll just delete that section. So now if I save this, and I need to save things twice right now for it to actually show up, but we can see we've got our item text one showing up twice. We've got it rendering horizontally. So that's perfect. We're getting it to work, but we're doubling up on data. So rather than using our render item down here, we could just go ahead and say return null. Again, I've got to save it twice to get things to show up right now. We can see we've got each section. We can scroll through it vertically to get to all the sections and we can scroll horizontally to look at all the items within that. Now an issue with this is right now it's basically we can render the section vertically and all the data horizontally. What if we want to specify that? So some sections could render horizontally and some could render vertically. Well to do that we could go ahead and pass a additional piece of data to each section. So let's go ahead and say this first one is the only one we want to render as horizontal. So I'll add horizontal true to that. Using that, we could go ahead and say, if the section dot horizontal is equal to true or just section dot horizontal, then let's return null. Otherwise we'll return our list item. Save this. And now we can see we're rendering our made for you section horizontally. But if we look down here at the punk and hardcore, we're getting that double again. So let's go ahead and say up here, if section dot horizontal is true, then we can go ahead and render this flat list. Save it twice. So it shows up. Okay. And now we can see that we've got made for you showing up horizontally, punk and hardcore rendering vertically. Same with based on your recent listening, we can go ahead, pass horizontal true to this one, make that valid. And then if we save it twice, so it actually shows up, we can see we've got horizontal scrolling going on down here. 
as well as our vertical scrolling. So it's pretty straightforward. We just need to combine the section list with the flat list to render that data. I've got a full write-up. All the code is available over on React Native School. I'll have a link down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it valuable. I'll see you in the next one.